thing I think we all have in common is we all like to find ways to save money, even more so in our current uh, events. So uh, we will be sharing some uh, methods that we, uh, uh, that we use to save money. One of my favorite money saving apps for grocery shopping is Flip. It helps you to do comparison shopping and see which stores have what on sale each week. If you're looking for a certain item, it helps you to uh, discover the price at more than one store at a time, so you might give you a better idea of where you want to do your grocery shopping that week and where to find the best deals. This helps save money and gas. Another app I really like is Flash Food. What it does is encourages stores to, instead of throwing their waste away, sell it at a reduced price um, if it's coming close to its best before date. So this helps to keep down waste, which is, of course, great for the environment. And it also helps to offer lower price products for people who are willing to put in a little extra effort for their shopping. So once you enable the app and your location services so we can find stores near to you, uh, a map will open up with all the stores in your area, uh, shown by the shopping carts, that have items available to purchase through their Flash Food app. Normally the stores have a small freezer, usually by customer service, where the items are kept. So items available often vary though, between, uh, yes, frozen meat, things that need to be refrigerated, as well as often dry goods or baking, things that maybe they have an overstock of and boxes of fresh produce. Once you get an idea of what time your favorite store uploads its daily items, you'll get a better chance at the available items. I definitely find some of my best deals using this app. If your local store doesn't have something like this, maybe you could speak to them about implementing it in the future to help reduce waste and bring in a little extra money before foods turn past their best before dates. With library memberships mostly being uh, free, um, it's kind of handy that they often include with the membership different apps that you can use to access digital books, ebooks, newspapers, all kinds of different publications, even textbooks, and um, I find that super handy. So um, if you're into traveling or if you live a nomadic lifestyle, if you're uh, sort of starting on your way into minimalism and you're trying to reduce clutter or if you're planning to move and if you've ever had to move boxes and boxes and boxes of books you might understand what I mean. So providing for less clutter, cost cutting, and saving space, and weight if you carry a backpack around. I really think that some of these are the greatest apps for providing yourself with entertainment, education, and everything that books have to offer. Another great way we've saved money over the past few years was by cutting our cable bill. I would have to say it's probably been seven or eight years since I've had cable television. I purchased my first Roku player way back when, and I have been using one ever since. Depending on where you live, there are a number of paid and free channels available that you would stream through the Roku player. There are classic movies, there are more current movies, there's pay-per-view services, there's local news and weather channels you can get by going to the Roku website and downloading the channels of your choice to include in your player. It's not that difficult, it doesn't require anything like satellite dish, and it's a very cost-effective way to bring entertainment into your home, wherever that may be, at a reasonable price. Some more great money-saving and waste-reducing resources include websites like Kijiji, Craigslist, Used Winnipeg, Facebook Marketplace as well. These are great places where you can often find items lightly used at reduced prices and as well they often offer items available for free as people try to clear out clutter, get rid of items they no longer use, and help others out. Kijiji is one of my favorites for free items. Here are three of my best Kijiji finds to date. Two helpful sections on Kijiji free stuff section is the one I'm going to talk about right now and that's where anybody giving items away might post something available and uh, that's something we do from time to time when you're clearing out 
clearing out places and uh, doing any decluttering or you get something new upgrade as you move along and it's nice to pass things on to others so there you can find any variety of things on a given day and if it's something that you're in particular looking for it's a good idea to keep an eye on the free section i find thursdays and sundays to be the best that's either before uh, people are getting their house ready for a weekend or on Sundays after they've spent an amount of time, you know, organizing a basement or garage. Maybe they move, things like that. Freecycle.org is also a great resource. That's a website and it is broken down by country, by state or province, and by city or region for groups that um, people want to start up a group. And others can post items they have available to give away and share. And you can also post items that you are in need of. It's a pretty cool website. There are many groups that are sort of spun off of this idea. I don't know which came first, but they both uh, accomplished a similar goal. If you go on Facebook as well and look up uh, free cycle groups in your area, there's a good chance there might be one. And if there isn't, it's a great opportunity for you to start your own, helping yourself and others to um, rehome no longer needed products. So thank you again for joining us. I hope you have found today's video helpful. Um, I know um, it hasn't been that long since I lived off of a very small budget and um, it can be hard. So luckily these apps are out there and they do help quite a bit, make your dollar stretch a lot further. And uh, hopefully some of them are helpful to you no matter where you live. And if there's anything uh, else anyone can think of, any other apps available, feel free to share them in the comments. I know there are so many great resources out there, and uh, that's just a few of them. So I hope this video leaves you well. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe. And thank you again for sticking with us as we grow our channel, learn the ropes, and try a few different things. It's still very cold here in Manitoba, and so... Uh, I guess indoors is just where it's at for the next few days. Looking forward again to the warmer weather and uh, can't wait to see you again. Take care.